what you do. There we go. That looks better. Alright. Just bug me in RC and we can go whenever you're ready. Or you can just tell me in Twitch chat I'm watching it. Am I Jesus? I'm afraid not, but countdown. Alright, so one player screen. I st yeah, obviously we start here, I have to mash down. Um, three, two, one, and start. Alright folks, everything's good. I was just watching the marathon to make sure the, uh, you know, it went off correctly. Alright, so first off, I need to know who's actually seen DKC. And, uh, despite, uh, how popular this game is as far as, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, people have played it, a lot of people have played in the past, this isn't a very popular run, so a lot of people haven't seen it. So, chat, tell me, uh, how many people have actually seen this game before? Like, how many of you... Because that'll color my commentary for the rest of the run, of course. And I'll try to, uh... Oops. I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, beautiful game. Seen speedruns, of course, I mean. Not the game itself. Get ready to roll. More people. Seen only ran during marathons, never seen. Alright, so we have a mix. It's a little different. Last time I did the, uh... You'll know that my last marathon... The last time I ran this was the ICP marathon. And, uh, that, wow, the crowd there was like, nobody's ever seen it, but essentially we'll bring it like this. This game's all about rolling, right? That's all we've got. You roll. And every trick in this game is about rolling, so you'll see a lot of rolling, you'll see a lot of up and down cartwheels, perhaps. And at some point, if I get it right, you'll even see flying. So, uh, stay tuned for that, it'll be pretty exciting. <laughs> I'll try to give you the best round that I can. For those of you curious, the world record for this game, for this category, is 3508. There's also an 80% category with glitch warps that is um, 830, 8 minutes and 38 seconds. And uh, I do not do 100% runs, actually. Um, 101% is not very popular, but people, I, people in DKC, in the DKC ROC channel, have been learning it. I know Minion and Klosti are running it. And Garrison is learning both all stages and 101%. So you guys can possibly look forward to that. I don't know what his plans are for actually streaming it, but I'm sure you, I'm sure you all know him, and it'll be pretty hype. So if you're looking for 101%, you can know, uh, just hang around SRL. You can join the DKC RFC channel and on the speedruns live and check how that goes. The game itself, well, it's like this. Um, there are a couple ways. Rolling is the fastest method of movement in the game, unlike most platforms where you have your, you know, you typically get full speed and you just sail along the, sail along the levels for any percent, right? Think about Yoshi, think about Mario. You just get up to that running speed and you try to keep it up. In this game, running is actually pretty slow, so. We don't want to do that at all, we're looking to maximize our speed as much as possible, and that re requires rolling. Now, during our roll, it, you actually accelerate, you get faster the longer you roll, oops, uh, there we go. You get faster the longer you roll, and the more enemies you roll into, the faster your max speed is, so it's almost like, <laughs> it's almost like controlling a vehicle, in a sense. Not in control, but the way you accelerate is almost like a vehicle. And, uh... You know, so the idea here is to just blow through the levels as fast as possible and run into as many enemies. So it's a lot- <laughs> you get to run through a lot of shit. And oh, I'm bouncing. Alright. On to World 2. Now, there are very- you'll see a couple of interesting- this run includes warps. This run includes uh, in-level warps, but not map warps. And we'll, uh, 
you'll see a couple of interesting ones that might make you a bit angry if you've ever played this game before. Every, um, a lot of you know this uh, game is actually pretty difficult, and uh, as you can see here, I'm showing a pretty good example of this. I'm sure the jokes are coming in chat, but it's not that bad, I swear. But here's another one, for example, if you've ever had headaches with the minecart stage. There you go, there is no minecart stage. <laughs> oh, goodness. I hope you fellas will stay for DKC, so I'm looking forward to it. I'll try to watch the chat as best as I can, but marathon runs are a little more difficult for that. But I'll give you a... Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm trying not to just uh, give my usual example. I like to change it up for, you know, I don't want this marathon, I don't want my commentary, my run to look exactly the same as it did in the Easter marathon. So let me know whatever, uh, any questions you have, any things like that. I'll try to catch it as best I can, but I've got chat on the wrong window, so I have to lean my head a bit more than I want to. I just skipped the fuel elevator thing. That barrel was the cheapest shit. <laughs> you guys are crazy. Here's another one. This is my favorite one from the game. You, you you walk out the door, you say fuck this stage, and you continue on your merry way. And you can also roll through rock rocks. That's a good one too. Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong in Super Smash Bros? Um, well, I would play DK, but... I didn't play much of Brawl, the one that Diddy was in. DK in 64 is pretty fun. DK in Melee is kind of acid. Alright, so here we'll, we're going on a backwards adventure for yet another world. World 2 is just full of them. And I know World 2 gives a lot of people nightmares, so it's just... Oh God, it, it's a mixed feeling of, um, from what I've gotten from everybody that has watched me, it's a mixed feeling of like excitement and anger, resentment at the fact that I'm just skipping through some of the more irritating stages in this world. <laughs> Although that one still gives you a lot of trouble, for sure. Let's see, so uh, the bosses in this game are spe spectacularly horrible. There you go, boss number two. <laughs> so, on to World 3. World 3 is where this run gets a little serious, and I wasn't supposed to switch there, but that's okay. We'll see one last warp here, and then we'll start getting into some more serious levels. I'm gonna go there, 6 worlds, sir. One last warp after this one, of course. Treetop Town was actually one of my favorites. I always like the music here, but you're not gonna see much of that either. You ready? This one's spectacularly cryptic. There's a tire up there, and then we bounce on the vulture. Bounce on the tire, die. That one's not good. Silly me. So let's give that another run through, shall we? We'll just bounce up this time and not try to do that tire roll. There we go. Not too shabby. Keep rolling that. <laughs> That's the funny part about this game, even in casual play. You, you'll actually have... Oh, I missed the jump roll. <laughs> Even in casual play, rolling is what, if you figure out that you can roll, and it'll make a lot of the game a lot easier. Simply because the way the enemies are s spread out in this game, it makes it really hard to jump on them. So when you have natural platforming instincts, the way you're typically used to jump on enemies, or you know, other than that, you maybe hit them with a projectile, you'll probably have some trouble in this game. And rolling makes it a lot easier whether you're playing normally or not. People who've played it a lot kind of tend to figure that out. People who aren't used to it will have a lot of trouble with the game. And here, I'm at, all I'm doing is mashing B, and I'm holding down, and that causes me to um, constantly jump like this. There, I give you a, that way you can actually see it. And that's all I'm doing is hanging above the rope to avoid enemies here because it's a lot easier that way. You can do a simple mod to make the Wii version, the, uh, be able to use the classic control on DKCR, but from what I heard, it's actually still awkward because the rolling physics don't feel natural to the controller. 
so it's not actually that much better from what I hear. Alright, there we go, now we've finally landed there. Better game overall? I think they're both good games. I think DKC2 is more on a more interesting speedrun because it has more varied movement and you know you just do more things in general you have wrong warps you have you use more of the animal buddies like here we're skipping espresso the bird because it's a little faster not to grab them purely because you have to grab them in a bonus game and uh but you know it has more interesting movement it has you know more clips you don't just roll all the time but Despite that, DKC1 I think is the better game for racing, despite DKC2 being featured in Seasons, because this game is just like, you know, like a convolute, like a difficult obstacle course. You have no RNG, there are, um, all the tricks are, almost all the tricks are based on rolling. There are some other ones like, um, you know, going quickly through the, the gaps, the crawl spaces and the, you know, the cave stages and things like that, but generally, oops. Generally, you just have rolling a lot of it, and but because of that, you know, so it's just a very fast-paced, quick. Uh, you, you'll almost you'll see here the levels are ending very quickly, and um, you know, you're just going from one level to the next very fast for the most part. That makes an amazing race game, and there is uh, there are no random elements in this game that are unavoidable, so you have. You have, you know, no situations where people are getting ahead just because they got lucky once in one part. However, there are several frame perfect tricks in this game, and this is the, what I mentioned when I was queuing up flying. You'll see that. You'll hopefully see that at least once in the marathon. I would be pretty upset with myself if I didn't get it at all. <laughs> and that's a there's a frame perfect trick that saves a lot of time on these later levels. Watching one of the VHSs. Oh, like the, the Nintendo Power VHS? That shit was hype. That's, uh, <laughs> a lot of you might have seen that, and that's where you found a lot of the warps and such. Here. <laughs> the water stages in this game are a bit of a... Uh, what could we call it? We'll just say they're a bit difficult, shall we? You'll have a lot of trouble with this one. Um, the worst part about the water levels is that when you get hit by a guard, typically as soon as you grab them, you get hit again. So, you're just chasing down the guy for ages until you finally give up and go through the level without him. And then you realize how terrible water levels are without in guard. <laughs> the only bad part is they hit in guard, so if you wanted the nice, fun water levels, you gotta work for it. Where am I going? That's the wrong way. Alright, and pow. Pretty difficult trick there to actually get Diddy to be able to whack him with the barrel. I'm going to get a 40, hell no. 40 is like a safe estimate. I should, um, 35 is the record. 38 is like my worst run possible, probably. I haven't. When I die purposely and runs to practice stages, I get 38s. Uh oh, that was a little too late. That's okay. Let's see. I'm trying to stare at uh I'm a bit behind now. Normally I get like my best world three is twelve twenty three or so, but you know I don't do all the uh I did die once too to be fair. So that doesn't particularly help. Now world world four is where this game gets serious and uh there are a couple of there are a couple of edge of your seat moments. A couple of really awesome tricks. You'll see one of them coming up shortly. Y'all ready for this? Hopefully I get it anyway. This is a barrel boost. And uh, a lot of air here. There are two instances of that in the game. The other one is a lot more difficult, but it's probably the most satisfying trick in the game. It's just a blast to do, and I wish it was... I wish there were more situations in which it was useful. For those of you who are curious, it is caused by just holding a barrel and jumping off a slope. He's in DK games. What was that? Narda? I saw. <laughs> Rayman Origins was great. As far as I know, wasn't Rayman just. W w weren't all the Rayman games just remaking Rayman 2 like five million times? 
I never followed Rayman that much, but that's what I heard. They just ported Rayman 2 to like every system on Earth. This <laughs> this stage features my favorite track in the game, but sadly, it's yet another warp. So we won't see. There actually aren't that many, like what, seven or eight warps in this game? But it just seems like a whole lot, especially because of World 2. Because the game's so fast paced, you go from level to level, so even the levels without warps early on seem really, really fast. Alright, so but here we will see the last uh, the last return of Expresso here on one of the most frustrating stages in the game. I can't even tell you how many nightmares this gave me as a kid. I'm sure most of you can agree. The snow levels were assy. But here, uh, one thing we can do that's particularly fun is clip through the mini neckies. And so you'll see me just run through all of them like that. And uh, that makes it easier. Other than that, we'll be using... We'll just try to keep in flight as much as possible. I never really learned to appreciate Expresso. Uh-oh. Uh, that was a mistake. Get up there. There we go. I never really learned to appreciate Expresso until I learned how to, you know, actually get through. Every time I grabbed them earlier, I was just like, God damn it, you lose the bird in like five seconds. The level's chill, no pun intended. This guy right here. All we're talking about is Rayman. I feel bad because I can't really, I can't really add my opinion to that because I never played it enough. That's okay there. This, um, you guys can, if you have any questions, this is the time to ask. This is a really slow stage. It's hard. It's actually hard for me to look at chat because you have to not bump into a wall or you'll get hit by the the croctopi, I guess you would call it. But there's nothing going on. You're already picking up a new game secret? Oh, that's cool. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. Good to see some of my chat regularly. Thank you. And also... You know, I hope, uh... All of you who have never seen a game before are impressed by it. I do not, uh, for those who are... You know, considering giving my stream a look. Because, because of seeing this, I don't do this much on my stream anymore. I'll race it occasionally, and I'll do it for marathon runs or after parties, but, you know, I haven't had any competition for the world record in months, and I'm just waiting for, like, the game to pick up elsewhere before I, you know, start running it again, so you won't see any more world record, you won't see any, uh, world record improvement attempts, but I do run Yoshi 100%, and I do run Jungle Beat, which you'll see at the end of the marathon, and that game, that game's fun as hell, and, uh, Hopefully you'll, you, you'll have a good time with that one. If you don't know, it's the game, with, it's the platform with the bongos. Not the rhythm game. And it's really, probably the most underappreciated game of the last decade. And I'll say that wholeheartedly because I bought, when I was 12, I thought it was gimmick, I thought it was like really gimmicky and dumb. And then I played, I, I ordered it years later because I thought it would be a goofy race and it was only like $10 and I already had the bongos lying around. And then I played it once on my own, and it was the m honest, the most honest fun I've had with a video game in years since I was like 13, probably. So it, <laughs> it's an absolute blast. And if you don't believe me, just uh, uh oh, I am going the wrong way here. <laughs> it's an absolute blast, and if you don't believe me, you'll just have to tune in for a marathon right at the end. <laughs> this stream and a says, "Good old evil snare deeps." I love all the support I'm getting from Snurdeeps here in this run. It makes me really happy. I don't think I'll get a PB though. Sorry to sorry to disappoint the best bot. All right. Let's see, so um, here we won't be using the light because the light lags out the game, makes it impossible to control. I'm probably gonna die there. Yeah. All right, we'll take a sit. We'll take that. I did. Oh, here. No, I grabbed the halfway bar accidentally. You get to see how bad it likes the game. That's great. <laughs> oh man, here it comes. It also flashes. So if you've got a, if flashing lights bother you, I don't. I suggest looking away for a second because it's actually really bad. Not as bad as DKC2. It's still kind of bad. Here's where the lag really kills you. All right. I won't get a PB. Not with two deaths. My uh, my world record has one because getting. No deaths in this game is hard as hell, but uh, 
I've, I've gotten, first time I got the world record is Deathless, but it was sloppy. And then my run, my 3508 was a lot better, but it was, um, what's up? Yo. Yo, I'm doing my marathon run. I'm doing my marathon run now. Oh. Can come say hi to everybody if you want. This one of my roommates. Okay. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is the single hardest trick in the game. And, oh, and we got it. Alright. Get that Franker's ease up. Are, are, are you trying to manipulate my, my marathon chat? Yes, yes I am. Get out of here. Go home. Where you are, home aren't you? Shit. I can't say that anymore. I can't say that to you anymore. You See? Snurdeeps is now mad at you. How, how, how does that make you feel? Mission accomplished. Alright, and he'll hear, um, here's my favorite boss fight, where ultimately proving DK's uselessness, we will not we will lose Diddy, and then I totally fucked it up. Oh. <laughs> um, what you're supposed to do here is uh, switch switch after his third cycle, and I think DK's mad for me at, shit, at me for shit talking him. But you normally run DK into the boss for the third cycle to skip a, skip the last one where he jumps four times. That's okay though. DK just wanted to prove himself. He was upset at me for all these shit talking in my marathon runs. All right, that's okay. We can be friends, DK. That's that's quite all right. And so this right here is potentially one of the biggest run killers in the game. And this is the point where I just can't look at chat anymore because the game gets a lot. The difficulty steeps up a bit, but I see, uh, what is it, Frank Z's in chat, right? James? Yep, Frank Z's. Alright, so I think, uh, I think this is the point where the, uh, hype can just ride itself, right? <laughs> so, stay on the edge of your seat, folks, because this, uh... This could ruin his run. <laughs> this level, this whole world, World 5 is the hardest level, or the hardest world in the game, so... Uh, we just, uh, give me all of your hype, and... We'll, we'll just have to hope it goes well. There we go. That right there, that trick. Oh man. So, that's down. That's a big obstacle right there. And then right after that, they give you a break with the easiest level in the game. Look at me. <laughs> there we go. And level's over. <laughs> but then it gets, that's the only break you get. Secret play, why would you ever use... Why would you ever use an inequality with a lesser than sign? You're bad at this game. Alright, this is actually one of my favorite levels, and a lot of DK runners hate it, but I like the fact that you can't just roll on this level. There's a lot more you have to do. This is an example. It's, it's, it's really fun to like have to climb and roll and crawl and just do every, you know, you have to do a lot more in this stage, and it um, I think it makes it a lot more interesting, and that's why I like DKC Tours more as a speedrun overall, simply because there's more different things you have to do. But, um, or as a game overall. But f for racing specifically, you know, I think this is the better one for it. Or if you're just looking for a really fast, a really fast paced, fun game, it's a bit hard. Oh, wait, guys, if you're interested in speedrunning this, make sure you check out the wiki. Uh, you know, I wrote most of the wiki for DKC a little while back, and you can check it out. And uh, somebody, some some of my chat regulars in here can post the link. It's Bomb Chews, just like that Bomb Chews posted there, except it's a little I, capital P. Or somebody can post the direct link. Alright, and this water level is particular hell, even with... Even with, a uh, Engard here. So, let's see... Oh, yep, 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 yep. Can we get him back? There we go. If I, if I lost him anywhere else in this section, I would've had to go on without him. Like that. Oh, no! Yep, 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 yep! Get back here. That's quite alright. As long as I re-catch him, it's not really a big deal. But there are a lot of places where if I get hit, you can't... You just you can't do anything with it. Not I'm not... Marathon uses a different timer, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're restreaming and using their own timer. Okay. By the way, Grav, um, I think I told you already, but the timer stops when the banana hits the ground after DK. Not at the freight credits. So wait for the banana. 
for the final fight. And uh, this is uh, th this stage is just a glitch so showcase. Here's the first one. Here, uh, for any of you Super Mario players, Super Mario World players, I love you, but this game has better flying, for real. Oh, I didn't get the jump roll though. That's all right. You too can do this at home. You you too can do this all at home, kids. Just hop in the cart with DK. Don't jump into it. Just fall into it. Run yourself into that vulture and then mash Y, and you'll you your chimpanzee too can achieve flight. It's pretty great. <laughs> but this is a. Uh, oh, I hope I get one of the world's six jump rolls because I only have a few left to attempt. I got the tanked up trouble jump roll in practice, but we'll see how it goes. And then once, once we reach land, we have to go back into the cart because the glitch will no longer work. Basically, as far as I know, even we don't understand, like as far as far as I know, even we don't understand exactly why it works. But essentially, the game still thinks you're on the ground because you fell into the cart. You know, not on the. Uh... <laughs> but let's keep going. Are you ready for <laughs> the nightmare stage? I don't have to say anything about the stage, because it's evident right off the bat why it's really dumb. Yeah, I can't see it any better than you guys can. I hate this stage. Such a bullshit mechanic. I really... Okay, so... Rare... That's a good... I'm glad you said that, because they're, um... Rare tried a lot with uh, light mechanics in this game, and I totally rolled too late there. I do that. Uh, that tends to be a common um, thing lately. But um, Rare tried a lot of things with light mechanics in this game, and I think what they wanted to do here was just like force, you know, kind of force the player to be cautious when in a game where you can like just want to go fast. And I, you know, I really think uh, it's. Not as like I complain about it, sure, because for speedrunning it really sucks. But I don't think it's a bad mechanic overall. Like loopy lights, I really love the one where um the clap traps. It's a later stage where the clap tracks actually run with uh you know jump when you jump, and that was a really clever mechanic. I'll get to that later though. All right, but here for now, let's get this out of the way. There we go. That's what I was supposed to do. You'll have to apologize, this is a little more mistake in than most of my runs because I haven't been running this game regularly anymore. He's been playing Jungle Beat. Jungle Beat and Yoshi. Jungle Beat's so fun. It's fun to watch. And here is the most used DK we'll get out in the entire game. Pretty much outside the beginning. And all we'll be doing is uh, spamming a little. <laughs> All he has to do is jump. Really. This is the only game where rolling is bad. The only part of the game where rolling is bad. Damn, I'm like missing all my slap slides too. No, oh, there we go. Uh oh. And I land on the wrong side. Oh. <laughs> There's not really much to do on this part in this part of the game. So, there we go. By the way, that's just by pressing down right or down left and Y at the same time. Alright folks, now I can save almost a minute on this stage by one of the most important tricks in the run that will <laughs> considerably improve my time. So what I want you to do, there's a frame perfect trick in the middle of the stage, but I need all of your help to get it. So, I think you guys know what to do at this point. <laughs> Can I get the hype? Fellas. That's, that, that's, that just, that might just be it. Alright fellas, I'll tell you, it's coming up right after this bend. It's on the vulture. Here we go. 
Nah. <laughs> no dice. Alright folks, I have one more jump hole to show you, and I will try my damnedest to get that one. <laughs> if you... <laughs> If you want to see Diddy take flight, keep up the hype. And on the last level, before the boss, we have one more chance for a jump roll. It's alright guys, there's one more chance. <laughs> I just want to show it off, you know. This um, Normally, the crazy part, even though this game is great for racing, an issue is that you have to get the jump rolls. The frame perfect tricks I was talking about. And let, I can explain it now since I don't have anything to do on this stage, essentially. I was talking about flying. It's kind of like the Minecart Madness stage. If you start a roll, and you, uh, if you start a roll on the same exact frame you land on an enemy, you'll actually start flying through the stage. It'll look like you, it'll, it'll look like you just got shot out of a barrel, kind of. And you'll just fly through the entire stage. But it's a hard trick, it's frame perfect. And uh, the two two instances of that trick in the stage save over a minute together. And in order to get the world record, you have to at least get those two. And there are more, there are a few more, but uh, those are the important ones. So if I was in a run, even if I was on world record pace, because I failed that, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't have gotten the world record. However, like that's why I say it's good for racing. That's another reason why it's good for racing, but not really for running. Because you have to grind out those tricks for days, and it's it's sort of like even though there are no random elements, that is the one major obstacle to getting good runs. And only as not many people were great, even like the good DK players. Why did I? Oh wait, never mind. Even like the good DK players don't necessarily go for world record because of that. That's the only time. We'll <laughs> and that right there was the only stage we'll ever use Rambi. And we sacrifice him right off the bat, Yoshi style. Poor Rambi. Can I get some sentiments for Rambi? He tried so hard to gain my love, only for me to toss him away, like a used tissue. Poor Rambi. This run is dedicated to Rambi. Rip and Peaches, my friend. And this is another interesting stage, by the way. It was a good moment of silence, thank you everybody. This is one of my more, uh, this is one of my, another one of my favorite stages, even though it's also a common run under, where you'll just lose Diddy and then, oh, it's so awful with DK. Just because there's more varied movement, you can't just roll. Like, I love, you know, I love how fast paced the game is, but. The, some of the more interesting stages are the one where you just you're forced to be more creative. Like here, I have to jump on top, you know, like link some jumps on uh, the clap traps here because they pop out of the barrels. All right. Uh oh, oh we got the slow roll. That's okay. Um, the title is updated. Oh, oh, the game playing is not what the title is. Yeah, you guys um, grab anybody running the marathon, whoever has the password to the main channel should update the actual game plan. Because that way people coming in from Twitch and not just SRL. Uh-oh. <laughs> people coming in from Twitch will actually know what's going on. And I think DKC would get, get us a few more viewers than having Scribblenauts Unlimited as the now playing game. Alright, yeah, let's make that. A little too rusty for some of these jumps, I guess. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh yeah, because I, I messed that one up in practice too. I completely forgot I told myself not to do it. <laughs> oh well. We can keep going. This stage, um, and the way this stage works, by the way, the clap traps jump when I press B. They jump when you jump. So, um, but the interesting thing is that they made a clap. They put a clap track from the beginning that doesn't move. And when you try to jump, you see him just standing there. And when you try to jump over him like you normally would, or jump on him, he jumps as well. And so they actually put that, you know, just a little, a safe, a sort of safe enemy there, just to teach you the mechanics right off the bat. But all right, guys, this is the final stage, and this is the last chance for me to show off the jump roll. I hope I can do it. 
I would like to be able to do that for the marathon because this is the best one too. So um, let's see how it goes though. One frame. Some 700 viewers. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn. Uh, I hate when I can't get jump holes during a marathon. Oh man. Oh well. We'll just have to truck through it. What I'll try to do is, since I know I have enough time, I'll, I'll, I'll attempt one more time just to show off the glitch, not even. Because I obviously it's not a fantastic run here, so I'd rather give you guys a treat rather than just finish the game. A few minutes faster. I don't think I don't think anybody will mind. <laughs> We're not that far behind schedule yet, and I'm not going. I'm not gonna go past my estimate anyway. Uh oh, uh oh. Like 40 minutes. I think <laughs> I just fucked yeah. up. Hey, maybe you get another chance. I totally just fucked. I wasn't supposed to grab that barrel. Oh no, I can't. Damn it! <laughs> I stupid halfway barrel. This is a very sloppy run, but uh, that's what I get for giving up the DKC. But yeah, I think I, I signed up for what 45 minutes? And my estimate is last night. Mm -hmm. No biggie. I'll give it one more shot after this. Yeah, we're supposed to land right here so I don't grab the barrel and just roll. I'm not used to grabbing it, so I didn't think about uh, backup strats there, which is just throw the barrel and then roll. <laughs> Some backup strats, huh? Alright. So right before the boss here, let's give it one more shot. Jump roll, everybody. I want to get it. I just want to show it off. This this part of the level is ingrained in my head for the many, many hours I spend grinding this stupid trick. There it is. There it is, folks. Let's see those, uh, frequency slash to Aaron. Shh. <laughs> Shut up, James. And the, and, and the little chimpanzee learned to fly and left the nest. Farewell, Diddy Kong. There we go, that's much more like it. Who cares about my time? <laughs> it's worth getting a bad time to get that trick. I'm glad I got it. Thank you everybody. The hype was still worth it. The hype was still very helpful. I would have been very disappointed. Yeah, but um, it was a little easier to get that trick. It's never 100%, but it was a little easier to get that trick when I was running this game more often. And obviously, I had to get I had to get them in order to uh, <laughs> in order to get a, a good run at all. Klosti, Klosti was a DK, another DKC one player. He was actually the first one to get a run with both the tanked up trouble, which was a long auto scroller, and the uh, the fuel barrel auto scroller. And uh, then I beat his world record by only five seconds. You know, like, kind of shit. You know, not really. And then, you know, I beat that record again by 14 more seconds. After, like, a lot more grinding. <laughs> it took a while. Alright, again, run ends when the banana hits the ground. Don't stop the timer early. This game's, uh, this game's a jerk and gives you fake credits. <laughs> Alright, I'll ask here because um, it's going to be a little late, you know, if you guys want any questions, ask now and I'll be able to answer them really quickly um, while the fake credits are rolling. They're not very long. They're not like the Con Racing where they have two credits for no reason. Oh, 
Hi. Why is K K Roll made of plastic? Because of early 90s 3D modeling, of course. Favorite game? Ooh. Yoshi. Yoshi's Island. For sure. Jungle Beat. Melee. K Roll in the next Smash Bros. I don't keep up with Smash anymore. <laughs> Skip crawling, you hold down and jump. You jump as you enter the crawl space. Alright, in here, K. Rool gets salty and stands back up for one more attempt at taking you out. But you know, this is Donkey Kong Country, and I think Donkey Kong really deserves some hype for how much how hard he's worked during the speedrun behind Diddy's back. So you know what? Fuck Diddy. And time. <laughs> I got over 40! Hey, it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth going back for the jump roll, I think. Completely. Have you ever ran Super Metroid? I have not. <laughs> but alright, fellas, I hope you enjoyed. Hope it was a good run. Thanks, James, for stopping by. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll hand it back over. Hotline Miami is next. I hope you get hyped for that. See you, see you later, everybody. Thanks for watching.